Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. Today's video, as you guys can see, is going to be a what we eat in a day as a family of seven. I try to give you guys a realistic, but also an accurate representation of what we eat in a day. I try to film everybody's meals right down to the snack. So I hope that you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and get into it. So before we get into today's video and our what our family eats in a day, I first wanna say thank you to Yukult for sponsoring today's video. We have started to buy and drink their probiotic drinks. Believe it or not, this 2.7 fluid ounce bottle contains billions of live and active probiotics. It blew my mind. They are made with simple ingredients with nothing artificial. There's no fat, no gluten, no cholesterol, and each serving is 50 calories, or you could get the Yakult Light, and it only has 25 calories per serving. So what's great about these is I can pack them in the kids' lunches. They can have them on the go. I literally just drank one before lunch today. I even mix it with Fletcher's milk, so he can have some probiotics too. Aria actually really loves these the most out of all all the kids she has one every single morning on the way to school and I was also curious about the taste when I first got them which you can get at most grocery stores I actually got these at Walmart it kind of has like a refreshing citrus taste it's really good and also if you don't want to drink it by itself you can also mix it with other things like smoothies but they also have recipes that you can try as well I'll leave that link down below I got a lot of ideas from the recipes that they have but if you're like me who wanted to have more probiotics and have my kids take probiotics I would definitely recommend checking out your cult all right so for the kids lunches I pack them all the same thing Scarlett Harlow and Nolan Aria always likes to pack her own lunch so I pack them a ham and cheese sandwich put a few carrot sticks in there cut them up some grapes veggie straws these little granola chocolate chip bites and then for a treat I put the elf on the shelf's uh, cereal in the middle so that's what they're all having for lunch today. I'm going to go ahead and put Harlow's in here and Nolan's in here. I'm also adding one Yakult probiotic drink to each of their lunches. I'm just going to put it right here and right here. And then for Aria and Nolan, they both wanted a jumbo muffin. I got these ones from the Walmart bakery, so that is what they had for breakfast. Harlow, what are you having for breakfast? With? Cheese. And what kind of bagel is it? Blueberry. Blueberry bagel with cream cheese. That's Harlow's personal favorite. She loves an uncooked bagel with cream cheese. She asks for that about every single morning. That's her go-to breakfast. I also make sure that all of the kids' water bottles are full before they head to school. What are you having for breakfast this morning? What is it? Muffin. She's having a jumbo blueberry muffin. That looks yummy. Do you want me to take the paper off of it? No. No? Okay. All right, so now it's Peggy's turn to have some breakfast. Mm. What is that face for? I just want. Are you a grumpy boy this morning? Mm. Oh, I think he's upset because he's trying. There you go. Good job. Get the stack. Good job. Is that why you're I couldn't get the banana on the fork. <laughs> so he's having some cut up banana and also <laughs> some pancakes. Yummy, yummy. You want some orange juice? Yeah. Yeah? So while Fletcher has his breakfast, I am going to make myself some protein oats. So I have some chocolate protein powder right here. I did work out yesterday, so I feel like I need the extra protein. And then I'm using Bob's Red Mill Old Fashioned Rolled Oats. These are the whole grain ones. I think, I don't know if there's different ones. This is just the one that I like. I've um, got some chia seeds, peanut butter, a banana, and then I'm gonna add this Trader Joe's Onog non-dairy oat beverage. It's just a non-dairy eggnog. Just add a little bit of that on top. So what I do is I just add a little bit of not a little bit of water, <laughs> enough water to cover the top. Um, I did add a little bit more since I am putting some protein powder in there. I don't want it to be too dry. Oh wait, why am I turning on the oven? Microwave, I'm gonna do a minute and 30 seconds. And while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my banana.
doing a classic ham and cheese little sandwich here. Got to put the little, the little chef's kiss on top here. We use some Sargento cheddar cheese and some Hillshire Farms and ham. Alright guys, so for lunch I am making myself a Mediterranean quinoa bowl. So I already cooked my quinoa. I use a tri-color blend. I also have some greens right here that I'm drinking too. This is actually a really easy recipe. It just takes a little bit of time with like all the food prep and everything. So you can pretty much add any kind of toppings that you want. The only thing that I'm missing that is so good with this, totally forgot to grab some, but I have some chickpeas green bell pepper. I actually really like this recipe with orange bell pepper. You guys should definitely try it with that or even yellow. Cucumber, cherry tomatoes, some olives. I also have some crumbled feta cheese. This one is really good. It's a Mediterranean herb blend. I really like this with this recipe. And I'll leave the exact measurements down below for the dressing, but I have some olive oil, red wine, vinegar, garlic, and oregano in here. So I'm just going to put all my toppings in my bowl and then put the dressing over it. from his nap so I got him a little snack he has not had lunch yet so I figured I would make him some strawberries he loves fruit especially strawberries and watermelon and then I'm actually going to make a smoothie after school and give him some of the smoothie as well but like you guys just saw I am marinating some chicken for dinner tonight it's a huli huli chicken or it's called Hawaiian chicken so I mix the marinade together put it in a big ziploc bag I have two pounds of boneless skinless chicken thighs and I'm going to put this into the fridge actually until it's time to make dinner. All right, Nolan, so what you got for your after school snack? Gatorade and the white cheese. Some zero Gatorade, has zero sugar, and some white cheddar Cheez-Its. Yeah. Are Cheez-Its your favorite? I might have had some of your bacon ones last night. Where were they? Gone. We'll have to get some more from the store. Frank has, to, Frank, <laughs> Frank has to get some. Oh, How dare you? Was it you too? Yeah. Was it you too? <laughs> yeah, get him. Get him. It was his idea.
Scarlett requested. What is this, Scarlett? Um, bye. <laughs> Here, she requested a Slim Jim. So that was another snack for her. What did you, yeah. hey, what did you get done eating? You had some cheese its didn't you? Or goldfish? I had cheese chips, some gummies, and... So for dinner, we are having huli, huli chicken, which another name for it is Hawaiian chicken. And we are also having some grilled pineapple with it, jasmine rice, and some sauteed garlic green beans. I'll leave the exact recipe for the huli, huli chicken. As you guys saw earlier, I made the marinade for it. So I will leave all those ingredients and the measurements in the description box. So dinner is done. We have the ready rice, the jasmine rice, the sauteed garlic green beans, the holy holy chicken, grilled pineapple, and then I sprinkled a few green onions on top as a garnish. And now I'm ready to dig in because this smells so good. I'm so hungry. And this is one of our favorites. And the best part is we have plenty of chicken left over so we can have some more for lunch tomorrow. forgot to film this part I'm actually taking this clip from our vlog on our main channel but we did end the night after dinner by making some of these snowman Christmas cookies so I also wanted to include that because like I said I told you guys I wanted to film a accurate and realistic what we eat in a day as a family of seven I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment and subscribe and we will see you in our next one. Bye guys.